Recreational Podcast Episode 97. Round of applause, please. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Digital Podcast, episode 97. We are three episodes away from the 100 episode celebration with the biggest surprise in You Should Know history. I cannot wait for that. There's an otter in the studio. If you are new here, if you haven't already, look below, you see the subscribe button, it pressed here. If you look even more below that, you see that comment section is fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more on, go and fill that out. We are on the road to 1 million subscribers in 2024. Let's hit 500,000 mid-February. This is the first episode of February, if I am correct. I am incorrect. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. My life is like a roller coaster, dog, and my brain is on the descent. Um, I am so happy to be here. I'm so excited to get back on the road. Tampa, Florida, February 17th. We only have a few tickets left. Let's sell that out for the big birthday celebration and the after party. And the that's going to be the best after party. It's going to be my birthday after party. I will be sloshed turkey. Good morning to you. And then I'm coming back home to Austin, Texas, where the You Should Know podcast started on March 1st at Emo's Austin, Texas. Those tickets are definitely going quick because that's a hometown show. You know all the friends, all the family, and all the surprises are going to be at that Austin, Texas show. So we will see you there. And remember... The Facebook, the official Facebook for the You Should Know podcast account is out right now. It's going to be the link in the description below the tickets. Also, Patreon is in the description. For some reason, it was out of there. I'll blame me. The Patreon is on there in the description. A lot of cool things coming to Patreon. All the vlogs for those trips. That Austin, Texas vlog is going to be insane. I'm talking too much. Now, on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know podcast. This episode is brought to you by Heineken Zero Zero. You know the deal by now. Heineken Zero Zero is an alcohol-free option to the original Heineken taste that you love, I love, we all love. It has 100% taste, but 0.0% alcohol. That means it's perfect for all the times where you would like a beer, but you can't have the alcohol. Like a like a Friday night birthday party. Ooh. But you got to run a 5K in the morning. Oh, that's... hey. <laughs> Still love the taste of a Heineken. Get the taste, 0.0% of alcohol. Ooh, a lot of people are giving up alcohol for dry January, but they don't want to give up drinking. Hello. I'm telling you, a lot of people did absolutely fantastic dry January with Heineken 00. zero. They just make it so simple because the taste is there. Click the link in the description below to buy now. Remember, you must be 21 and up to purchase. Please enjoy Heineken responsibly. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. We got co-host Cam back in the studio. Oh, I forgot I have a ring on. I'm sorry. You know, Cam, how are you You're doing? How are you feeling? You're the worst. Oh my God. I didn't even say this in the intro. We're back on couches. We're back on couches. We saw the couch. You hated the chairs. You absolutely hated the chairs. So, broken couch is back, and if I stumble down and break it again, that's your fault. Yeah, no. So, we did that because there's no... Uh, there's shoddy craftsmanship on the leg of that She's chair. She's sturdy today. She's Just sturdy. Yeah, we did, some, um, we did some work with the leg. We did some work with the leg to fix the leg. I did not do any work with the leg. <laughs> you work my leg. Good morning. Which one? The first, second, or third? Hello. Good morning. We got co-host Cam back in the studio. Now, Cam, let me say something. Let me say something. I am so excited for this episode. You know why? Why? I've been depressed. <laughs> That's not funny. We can't laugh at that. We can't me? laugh at that. But we can't, but I can we, laugh at myself. But the thing in general, we can't laugh at it. No, I'm just... <laughs> why? Why don't you tell me? <laughs> Yes, I do. I have been a little down, but I always just, I, the You Should Know podcast family, the real fans, the real fans, not the outsiders mm -hmm. that don't really know us, that judge us oh, off geez. of 10 second clips. Yeah. The real people that come here every Monday are in that watch party, in the comment section, watching this. Y'all are the reason that I'm feeling better. And I'm very excited to be back on this couch <laughs> and talking to you people. I've been so excited, in fact, mm -hmm. to talk to these people. You know what? One of the things I do when I'm really excited Sweat. 
I get naked for you. You do get naked a lot, and I don't like it. I think you've seen so much of my body in the last 48 hours. I have seen <laughs> creases of skin that I'm not supposed to see, and I can attest to that. And I am not, I'm not happy. I'm not happy about it, but <laughs> I, I'm just worried about, cause we keep scaling the business, right? We keep scaling the company, You Should Know Studios, LLC. At one point, whenever there's people in this office. Oh, yeah. I can't be myself. Oh, no. You're going to have to be like a like a neutered version of yourself, like an absolute <laughs> tranquilized Peyton. Yeah. How, it's going to be better. You, you better, we, there better not be HR. It, yeah, that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'll have a, a, a pro, but I wouldn't do, I only do it for you. Or it would literally, it'd literally be like, guys, welcome back to episode 300 of the You Should Know podcast. I'm your host, Eddie Aguero, with co-host Johnson Fleming. <laughs> like, it'd be too, it'd be a completely different cast if we had an HR right now. It, I, I mean, we'd be out of there. It's so bad. Like, I swear to God. <laughs> like, in the, even, like, in the past, like, 30 minutes before we recorded, Cam seen me naked three times. Like, I've been naked today. I'm proud of this. <laughs> and I'm not sorry. Uh, you need to be. And Cam gets now. I've, you're a little scared to Facetime me now. Yeah, I answer like this. Oh, okay. He's just, he's just eating food, and I need to be like this. It's like I'm looking at. Take that out. Take that out. What am I doing? Take it out. I'm just gonna mute it. Um. Oh, speaking of being on the phone with you, God, I didn't want to jump into this so quick. You piss me off whenever I call you. Ditto. You're so rude. And actually, you piss me off whenever you call me. Why? You, you, oh shit! It's my brain my, doesn't work the same, bro. No, it's <laughs> what? I thought you were gonna talk about how I take too long to get to things. D okay, kind of. It's inconsiderate and selfish every time you call me. Wow. You're so inconsiderate and selfish. You're so mean to me. You can't call me and then put me on a back burner. I, if life happens, <laughs> I have to. No, you don't just schedule your thoughts. <laughs> it's not thoughts, it's something can happen. Let me give them a breakdown. Okay. Every time Cam calls me, because 90% of the time he doesn't call me because he doesn't respect me or like me as a man, he only wants to I always to call him. He's absolutely lying, I always call him. I always call him. Okay, but when you do call me, this is exactly what happens. Either the first thing he does, Hey, hey, Peyton, what's up? First of all, I know your voice. That's not your voice. <laughs> I don't speak. Yes, you do. Hey, I hey. only do that when it says spam like, hey, hey, man, hey, man what's up? Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? I said, hey, keep it a beam, bitch ass. <laughs> Careful. What? I didn't say anything. I know, but the, what voice were you going for? Just a voice. I just changed my voice. <laughs> All right, go. Is it, it's either that I'm like, who is this? Like, that, why are you talking to me like this? That. I'm like, I'm not around any strangers. You try to impress me, and I appreciate it because it's like keeping our relationship hot. But the second thing you do that you always do, and it pisses me off, you'll call me, right? 2.30 on a Wednesday. You'll call me. I'll be like, hey, what's, love. what's up, bro? And you'll be like, hey, just hold on one second. And put the phone down. <laughs> no, I don't. I, oh, my. No, you don't. I don't immediately tell you to hold on after, no? after you answer. Cam, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you that, in the workplace. If I, did, if I did that, I'd be, that's a, that's some form of terrorism. If I did that, <laughs> if that is, I am just devouring your happiness. If I go, you go, hey, what's up? And I go, hold on real quick. Exactly. I will do. speak to you, but then if, if Ruby needs to go out, no. I might tell you, hold on real quick. Got to put a harness on. <laughs> If my wife starts yelling at me, I said, hold on real quick. I got to talk to her. If, but that's if, the thing. That's the thing. That's the selfish. Life happens. Life selfish. happens. You knew you had to take that dog out. No. Put I, your harness on, then call me on the way out. You'll call me. You, oh, my God. That's what you did literally th this week. You called me. You're in your car. You go, AP, hey, what's up? I was like, what's up, bro? And you go, ah, hold on one second. Hey, can I get the uh, five-piece nuggets? <laughs> uh, What, dog? Get your food, dog. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, that's on me. I did do that. I literally, the second you answered the phone, I said, hey, hang on real quick. Let me get the number six large combo. And I literally, you came through my car audio and you went, don't you ever call me while ordering cuisine again. That's what you said. Don't you ever call me while you're ordering cuisine. Dude, that, it irks no, me to I my actually, core. No, uh, I, I can admit to that. And I'm sorry. I don't know. It's, hey, it's, it's up here. But you can't. This is, this is the average person. Ready? Yeah. This is me. <laughs> so okay, it's, but but th that's the first thing you're using that as bait and an excuse. Now, I'm not, I'm not gonna give you 25 cents after I pay for a McRib. It's not. I, what <laughs> the hell did you just? Say? You know, I like to ask for donations. I'm not giving you my donations. Wait, what? When did? I, when did we talk about currency? When did that come? I'm into saying because you want people to feel bad for you. 
No, you, you, that's you, just you, the God's you, honest truth. It took you years to. I admit, didn't. It took you. Years, don't you ever put an erect <laughs> finger see, at me again? See, you see, he can put a finger at me. I just have to take it. I put a finger to him. Don't you ever do that to me? <laughs> no, He's I'm my <laughs> father. <laughs> well, you do call me daddy. No, I don't. don't you've never called that. me daddy. No. Hell, hell, on, 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 on Jesus, you've never called me daddy. Have you called me daddy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You almost said, oh my god, you're a cubic centimeter away from crushing your monster. Oh my god. I think you broke my ankle. I think your ankle broke me. <laughs> this is... Yeah, this we is have... Yeah, yeah, this... It's... There's gonna be some There's edits. no live in the studio there's today. There's gonna be some edits. Yeah, there's no... There's no, like, a... Uh, Referee? Like a, no. No. It's not a sport. Censor. <laughs> There's no sensor. There's no sensory sensor. Because normally we just get to talk in on this podcast and we forget that there's yeah. cameras. Yeah. And then Shit live talks to us. <laughs> hey, hey. So, get so now I feel like just go grabbing something. Oh. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. You're not grabbing any. Put, put that mic down. You're sniffing it. I don't even know what this fabric is. What would you call don't it? Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like Cameron? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like Cameron? Don't you? <laughs> what was that? Don't you? Why? How, how do you even thrust and point at the safety of care? Yeah. yeah. Let's sing out what member is our beautiful body. Got it on in that club. <laughs> Drunk in love. We be, be all, all night. Can win. Cam when we be all night. Cam when. Don't you wish your Oh my god! Oh no, that was a sin. That was a cardinal sin. What? You just broke Scout Tonner. <laughs> you were supposed to hit Cam when one more time. I was. Even slightly higher pitch. You went back to another song. You like when I call you Cam when? I'm not gonna lie, this might be sad, but I think you can sing better in that weird little baby Cameron voice than you can in your regular voice. Who's the better singer, me or you? 100% me. Cam, Every, everyone that Cam. knows both of our bloodlines would tell you it's me. Yeah, no, you, you don't. You're a good imitator. You're lucky. You're I a good have, imitator singer. I'm a very good, very good at that. Thank you. Imitator but singer. Regular, regular singing. No. <sighs> no, you're about to piss me off. I, 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 sing I a literally. Lot. Could, you're so lucky. My throat is scratchy right now. It's scratchy. I need a big ass bowl of like cornflakes or like honey bunch of oats. What? I swear to God, anytime I would wake up and I'd have like a sore throat or something as a kid, I'd get a fat ass bowl of honey bunch of oats, and I would intentionally put less milk than required, to where when I drink, it was like I was. I was drinking a river of like nails and wood chips and it would scratch all the phlegm off. Do you realize what you just said to me? What? <laughs> Throat's a little itchy, right? I need honey bunches. You feel like a like a like a little small cat went like meow to the back of your tonsils. That's a weird that's a very small kitten. <laughs> that is a fing mite that is a microscopic kitten. If it's fit in my mouth and going meow. You got a big throat. <laughs> we need to live here. <laughs> so you're saying when you got itchy throat syndrome, mm -hmm. you want to get the scratchiest cereal in the world yes. to scratch your throat. 100%. That's the equivalent of me saying, I was on my way to Scooter. I what? A <laughs> oh, way to Scooter? I thought you said I was on my way to Scooter. I was like, what the f <laughs> Ways of Scooter? Okay. Let's say you fell on your way to Scooter, all right? <laughs> you got a good cherry on your knee, scratched it. Mm -hmm. That's like saying alcohol. <laughs> Oh, oh I scratched no. my. That's the same thing. That's what the honey bunches and oats are doing. You're scratching your throat. Yeah, but it's clear. It's a clearing scratch. You know I have a PI on you. No, you don't. I think you might be a serial killer. I'm dog. not. A, every every that week, makes sense. It, you no, wake up. Does you wake up a little sore, irritated throat, right? Mm -hmm. There could be little pockets of pus, little mounds of whiteheads in the back there. You know those little. Oh, things. what the? F what? Not in mine. But if someone were to have strep, you know how it gets white. That's not whiteheads. You don't get I, pimples in your throat. I didn't say it was pimples, but it's that's a little, what a whitehead is. It's a little mountain with a head that's white, so I just called it a whitehead. Mm, good morning. Hello. Hot and ready. Uh, menu's on the table. Anyway, that's a floor. <laughs> but you eat the cereal, and it literally goes, just imagine like nails and screws with some wood chips traveling down your throat, your larynx, as some call it, down to the... <laughs> <laughs> Down to the deep darkness of your acidic stomach pit where all things go to die and it scratches and takes the phlegm with it and you swallow. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> that turns me on. The, what, what did you just say? <laughs> that turns you on? I didn't say that. My mom watches this. You need a butt.
We need to live here. To you need a bump. No, I'm saying that's that that is <sighs> that's the equivalent of getting like a like a like a like a scab no. on your knee and you're like this. I don't agree. It's just I don't care. That's the same. That's not equivalent. Dude, oh, do you do this when you eat food? Weird question. And I only do it sometimes. It's certain textures. Like you ever oh. get a loogie in your throat? Oh, and you bring it back and you go like this a little bit. You're playing. <laughs> you're playing, you're playing, playing double dutch. Dub you're fucking. You're double dutch. <laughs> you're playing your tug of war. Yeah, exactly. Who's gonna win, the throat or the mouth? You know what I mean? They're play, they're going back for you. Everybody does that. I don't care. Everybody does. That. I do it all the time. It it feels good sometimes. No, it, it does it's not. It's like a little throat massage in your, I in your throat. Don't do that. No, <laughs> I'm either spitting it or okay. swallowing it quick. And then you reminded me. Sometimes I do it with my oatmeal because it's gooey. And you bring it up. You sit there. And Double Dutch your oats. <laughs> yeah. I'm 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 playing whack a mole with some with with some Quaker oats. No you berries. You tell me you play tug of war with Quaker himself. I have a strong throat. In the, I have good strong throat syndrome. <laughs> good, G S T S. Good yeah. strong throat syndrome. You yeah. have G S T S. Yeah, that sounds like a viral disease. G S T S. You just started something. <laughs> You double dutch your oatmeal. That's the main food, but sometimes it depends on the texture of the food. How is that? How do you? How is that pop? You you can actually go the same way you bring it up. Like I can't bring shit up. What? So you can forcefully vomit. You can vomit on command. <laughs> if I go like that, give me <laughs> not just like not like. Oh, actually, right. Oh, oh. <laughs> you said. Oh, oh. That's no. what I'm saying. I don't, I don't understand. I, like, I'm not getting there with you. Okay, look, this part. That's like only <laughs> so gross. That doesn't apply to no, like a lube, vowels. like a good lug. But you you're going oats. like this. You just said brown sugar cinnamon. Yeah, but I've already. It's in there. I'm not making it. If I put it in there and I have it rest right in that middle quadrant, right on the starting line. <laughs> there's, there's little, there's little cells in there. They're just whipping up oats and shit. They're like, send it up, Taya. And they, they're throwing it up the fucking throat. The, the next guy catches it. Oh, up, up to you, John. Up, up. They're just going, and it's all, it's all like. The top, all guy's, all like, like, the top guy's like, get out of there, get out of there. There's another thing. <laughs> There's a vault door. It's like, <laughs> holy shit. Oh, God. That is how stupid we are. <laughs> oh, do you do that? Okay, what? speaking of little men in your body, whenever- I used to think that all the time. I drew a diagram when I was six. I remember you said that. Yeah, you, no, you, you're schizophrenic. Um, <laughs> no. That was a different part. No, that was a different part. Cam just broke a different part of the cat. <laughs> No, you're a f***ing loser. He's a creep. He saw me up and immediately wanted to join. Ow! <laughs> okay, oh. order in the goddamn court. Oh. What, what part of the couch just broke? Uh, Your couch has no integrity left. Oh, it's good. Okay. Oh, man. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by HIMS. Let's have an honest talk. 52% of men over 40 experience some form of ED between the ages of 40 and 70. But it's always been a taboo topic, but not here on the You Should Know podcast. Thankfully, HIMS is changing that by providing affordable access to ED treatment. All online. Hims provides access to clinically proven generic alternatives to Viagra and Cialis up to 95% cheaper though. Woo! With options as low as $2 per dose. The process is simple and 100% online. No uncomfortable doctor's visits. All you do is answer a series of questions on their site and a medical provider will determine the right treatment option. If prescribed, your medication ships directly to you for free and in discreet packaging. Hims has hundreds of thousands of trusted subscribers, so if e ED is getting you down, it's time to change that. Start your free online visit today at hymns.com slash YSK. That's H I M S dot com slash YSK for your personalized ED treatment options. Hymns.com slash YSK. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. 
Okay, did you do this whenever? I thought there was men, little men controlling every part of me. <laughs> yes, okay, so this- work groups. This is one of my hacks to go to sleep, and I still do it, I swear to God. When I say, no, I swear to God, it's not weird. I do it on plays, public transportation. Whenever I get too anxious to sleep, I'm sleeping, right? <sighs> I'm sleeping, right? Mm -hmm. And my brain works too fast, right? I'm thinking about imminent death and danger all the time. <sighs> all the time. Part of me has to be bleeding. <laughs> You hear no stowed ass, something's bleeding the <laughs> Ass was that last one? You need Oh you, You've never wiped and there's a little bit of red on there. Oh I've wiped and it looks like fucking red riding hood. <laughs> I've wiped and it looks like a World War II <laughs> medic. I had to can't stop you where you can't so Oh sorry. Oh I, I've wiped and it looks like Dragon's eye mask. <laughs> I have I'm talking. It's bad, bro. I've, Did you get I, that checked? Huh? Shouldn't be like you're like active, like active blood. No, no, it was you as if I got stabbed the same second I wiped. Yeah. It was a one-time thing. Very scary. Oh, that was here. No, that was, no, it wasn't here. No, I remember because you went and you no, shit. You checked. No, I didn't. Check. <laughs> I didn't fucking play around. No, I remember that because Liv was telling me. No, that was the, that was like on the back end of it. The, the main, the first one happened at the house. No, I remember I was shitting next to you and you go, what the f You were pissed off because he was still there. I was still there. No, I'm saying, I, yeah, I didn't say you learned about it here, but it happened here too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, but the main, where I'm like, the whole thing, I was like, oh, <laughs> that was at the house. How, how'd you know you were bleeding? I checked. Because it felt different. What? It felt different. It literally, it felt different. <laughs> bro, it's like, imagine, what? poop has some weight. Poop, so it's like a. You're pooping in your toilet paper? <laughs> no, what but I'm saying, wait. Poop has, like, you can tell. If you're picking up a sludge or if you're picking up water. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you're not broke anymore. Invest in better toilet paper. I, the toilet paper I use, you can yeah, have. Yeah, you, you buy have, your shit from, I don't, from like. The queen. <laughs> yeah, you buy your shit from, like, people that make bedding. Like, it's not even toilet paper. Yo, okay, because I'm saying, you could put, <coughs> you could put. You could put a sh like an infant's Air Jordan One in my ass, and I wouldn't be able to feel it. That's how thick my toilet paper is. <laughs> There's no shot. <laughs> You're just like, yeah. No, but there's okay. no shot. But I, it's it was bad. It was it was wild. What were you saying? <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> I was talking about when I sleep. Oh yeah, when you sleep. I sleep. It's one of my. When you bleed from your ass <laughs> and you're in the thirty-six thousand feet in the air and you're asleep. One of the things uh, I think about whenever I'm sleeping and I can't sleep, <laughs> and I'm having anxiety attacks and panic and thinking about imminent death and I'm bleeding, right? And I'm wet, and I'm like, she's cheating, definitely, right now. <laughs> God, your mind. <laughs> and so then negative. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I, I think about small little workmen in different parts of my brain and there's like gears and they're like and they talk to me they're like you time to go to sleep and they're like turning off the lights and they're picking up their little briefcases <laughs> and they're turning off the gears and I fall asleep every time to this day I'm 24 still go to sleep like that <laughs> what are they I need I need a picture what do they look like small <laughs> Don't, don't, don't double that. They look like, like Bob the Builder. That's what they all look like. They this don't like, all like have faces, pudgy. but like all little like that. Oh God, they don't have faces. Well, they probably do, but I don't remember. Them. You don't? Okay. I just see like so they have briefcases. I see their outfits. They're wearing business casual. <laughs> no, I didn't mean briefcases. What's the thing? It's a briefcase. Toolboxes. Lunchbox. Toolboxes. To they have toolboxes. And they just they just clock out. They're they're working with me. Or is, is it like a sub? Like you have to tell them to clock out. They don't leave until the boss is asleep. So I don't ever see them exit the door. <laughs> they just tell me, and then I'm now. They go, all right, boss, we're headed out for the night. It was a great one. Exactly. And then they they turn off the gears. People and, are gonna think I'm. F I swear to God, this. And I go you to literally sleep. just go like this <sighs> uh, every time because it stops me thinking about imminent death and danger. You know what I immediately think? What you want to be a. Disney character. You, your life's work is to Disney. Disney. Peyton <laughs> Disney Harden. That's what I, I Okay, one day when I'm on Disney, I might have a I'm breakdown. A, I'm a congratulate. I'm going to be there. I feel I'm like a I'm a good be. enough actor to be on Disney. 
Because I was watching some of the Disney shows and I'm like, they're good actors. I'm not trying to diminish, but, but see, you don't, you can't burn bridges with our future employers. They're great actors. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying like they, they're good actors, but they're not like it's not like Leonardo DiCaprio. So I feel like I can do that and like, yeah. especially with the character. If they, I got a good character where I was like, <laughs> what was that move? I've always wanted to be like Tupac Shakur in um, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Whenever, oh, when he, yeah, yeah. You, you get the like the celebrity entrance of like yeah. sitcoms. Whenever like you bump into them, they're like, yeah. oh. they're like, hey, hey, watch out!" And they turn that it's like that fake the <laughs> audience. <gasps> yeah, that's Dude, how, okay, did you get upset when you figured out your favorite shows were laugh tracked? Dude, it took me. You it just, hurt. You just broke something inside of me. I was painfully scarred. Yeah. What show is it? A lot of them. Like Big Bang Theory. I didn't really watch it, but that's Dude, like... Dude, I swore for the longest that they did the sets in front of a, a live audience. Some did. And they laughed at it. Some did. Some did. But all Nickelodeon shows, all Disney shows, I would say all. I can't prove it. But like 90% of them, it's just like added in laughs. Like Victorious, iCarly, Drake Dude. and Josh, it's all added in laughs. Did you feel older and more cool when you watched Zoe 101 because there wasn't added laughs? No, I never really thought about it. I did. That's how good that show was, though. I thought when I watched a show that was still on Nick that didn't have the laughing, I was like... But now, <laughs> but now that you think about it, I I, like, I'm cool. I'm I know old. why Zoe 101 didn't have a laugh track. Shit wasn't funny. <laughs> That's pretty... Mar, are you nuts? Zoe 101 was probably top three Nick shows of all time. Peyton, if you went on Netflix right now and watched two episodes of Zoe 101... I did. I watched... The, they have two seasons up or one season up. I watched it like three times. I love that. Before a date... Whenever I was living in a, uh, ooh, can I say that? I no. don't live there anymore. Uh, when I was living at a screaming lady apartment, yeah, I was uh, I, I, me and the girl I was talking to at the time. We would just watch that before we were getting ready to go Damn, to dates. I rewatched it and I was like, that that's probably the worst feeling ever. But you weren't a good kid. But <laughs> you weren't a mean, fun I wasn't kid. a good kid. Like you were always like, I'm too cool for this. I'm gonna it's be cool. in the army one day. I never wanted you're like, to you're join the You're talking to a future. <laughs> you're talking to a future Colonel Cadet. <laughs> Get on your knees, freeze! He's like, what are we? What's that smell? What's that smell? <laughs> no, I, I, dude. That's that's just it's it's like a horrible feeling when something that you absolutely loved and is super nostalgic, you go back and it's it's ass. It's the worst. I don't feeling get ever. that often though, because you know why? I still like I'm I I'm just a ch I'm still the same child. I'm yeah. just big. I mean, yeah. my brain. I have a lot of childlike things up here, but. But it's you, like uh, it's just certain things, bro. Like, I hold on to things. Like the initial feeling something gave me, I still have. That's why I watch High School Musical eight hundred times. I've seen all of them eight hundred times, and I have the same feeling each time. But have you uh, gone? High School Musical is a good one. Though. It's so fantastic. Have you listened to a Kids Bop recently? I've never was into Kids Bop. I auditioned to no. be in one. I swear to God. I swear to God. I, 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 just, I, just, I swear to God. More I swear to God. You can't sing. I swear. To, I know. That's why I didn't get it. They were doing. Uh, 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 auditions at like I think Lake Line Mall in Austin, Texas. Dude, what, I, like I couldn't. Your mom's the greatest. That's why we're, <laughs> she's we the are, greatest yeah. mom ever. Yeah, I would have been like, boy, you can't sing. <laughs> Say, get your ass I know, a, a but, Lego set. But she did a great job, and my dad. They did a great job of like, we know you suck. Like you're not good, but we're not going to tell you that. We would rather you not hold that resentment of us not letting you do it, and you go fail on your own. <laughs> Like that's great parenting. That's great parenting. That is. That's fantastic. <clears throat> that's great. Have you gone back to those old shows and watched them without a laugh track? I didn't even know you could do that. Go to YouTube and watch. Like, go to a show that you remember had a laugh track. Be like, whatever, whatever show, no laugh track, and watch it. How awkward it is because they're literally like yeah. this. Hey, how was your yeah. day? Oh, it was good. Did you catch that football game last night? <laughs> yeah, literally. yeah, football because they have to pause yeah, for, for the, the editors oh to add it. God. That's so strange. No, I would probably, I'd say I could, I could crush a whole episode in six blinks if it didn't have the laugh track. <laughs> I'd literally be like this, <laughs> just watch, <laughs> just dead watching it. I'm, now I'm thinking about being. I feel like half this podcast now is me reminiscing on childhood stuff. Dude, it's fun. It though. was the happiest it's time of my be, life before yeah. millions of people said. Very many things to me every you. single day. Hey, it made me question if I was important to this earth. There, well, <laughs> you are. You, are. Well, thank you, you should always know that. No, thank you should you. go to sleep every night like, Cam Wynn loves me. Well, but you really go like this. Gring, gring. Yeah, I'll be at the gym at nine, bitch. <laughs> and I just go, this is how I go to sleep. Peyton hates me. 
<laughs> Peta don't. hates me. You don't think that. You don't think that. You would have had a serious conversation with me by now if you would have thought I hated you. Oh, I know you don't hate me. I just feel like... I don't know. I just feel like you could lay off the B word a little bit. <laughs> like those fucking... I feel like you could shut up, bitch. Exactly. That's all the time. But I say that out of love. Oh my God. What? <clears throat> You roast me all the time. There's nothing new with that. Okay. You always make fun of me. My grandma roasted my ass last night. Oh, Mimo? Mimo. <laughs> I love how Mimo's so nice. She's so nice. She's blind and deaf. She's 80. She's damn, so damn. nice. That's my gr It's to set the story for them. But listen, that actually has nothing to do with it. But Mimo, she, Mimo, she's my loving grandma. You're going to hell, I no, I'm not. That's fact. It's what she is. And she, she'll tell you. She'll be the first I'd time. I'd be like, I, that's like me talking about my grandma that passed away. I'd be like, yeah, Mimo. Stage four kids, like you can't. It's like that's. I mean, but it's okay. Regardless, <laughs> so we're sitting. Uh, my mom had to go somewhere last night, and because I guess it has something to do with it, because my grandma is visually impaired, hearing impaired. Why are you laughing? Because you got to stop. You're curling. Your body was curling with laughter. What are you doing? Okay. So because of that, me and uh, Liv, we brought her dinner, and we went and hung out with her last night. Okay. Just so she could wouldn't have to be by herself for the night. That's nice. So we go over there, bring her some uh, some canes. We're eating the chicken, and everything, and we start talking about our Colorado trip okay okay so we start talking about this trip and i go yeah uh peyton's actually flying out there he made the smart decision we're gonna drive she goes oh yeah that's that's a long one and i go yeah and you know just tall people like being stuck in a car it's it's just not it's not advantageous it just really kind of hurts she goes yeah <laughs> i swear to god it it caught me so off guard she goes yeah especially you you got those weird knees <laughs> i said what I swear to God. She goes, you got really weird knees. And I go, Whoa, what is that? I went, what the f I was like, what's what's weird about my knees, Vima? She goes, you know, they're just, I mean, they hurt you and they're a little, a little different. And I go, and I, my first thought, this might be the asshole. My first thought was like, you haven't seen my knees in so long. It's like, you haven't seen them in forever. So you don't even know. I can have one knee right now and you wouldn't know. But Damn. It's my grand. It's this. a my grand. I love her to death. So then, then, <sighs> this is how I know. I, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna ruin it. So then we keep going on. I'm like, yeah. It says it's 12 hours. We're gonna break it up into shifts. I'm probably gonna take like a little Advil PM and whatnot. And I was like, I just get so jealous of shorter people in the cars because they can at least rotate and whatnot. Word for word. This is how I know the jokes have gone too far and she's caught on. She goes, yeah, you can't do that, especially not with your hips. Yes. <laughs> and I literally yes. went. <laughs> I am sitting there in my own, in my parents' house with my grandma, who's known me in my entire existence before this hip shit, and she has now hopped onto the wave. Shout out to you, me, I love you. Especially not with your hips, and I literally went, you're, you're kidding. That's funny as hell. I was like, oh, I do a lot better with yours, huh? I'm just kidding. Don't touch me. Mima, I will beat him up for you. I'm kidding. I love That's her, but funny it was so well. funny. She just caught me so off guard with the knees no, at first. Mima's funny as hell. She's such a nice lady. She said, you got She's weird knees. I was like, how? Was you do come from a lineage of bad knees. No, my mom. Oh, my mom. Oh, my mom. I love her to death. That woman before her surgery, man, her shit was yink. It was just not me. I don't remember her before her surgery. Yeah, because, well... It happened. It was like right around like, like the first Seminole time I was days. meeting her. Yeah, yeah. but uh, I remember after her surgery, dude, she <laughs> fell. One time, my mom literally fell off a curb and fell directly on both of her knees. Showed up to my birthday dinner, slits in both of her jeans, right on the knee line, blood on the denim. Still walked in with a smile on her face. Happy birthday, son. Be <laughs> like, did you get jumped, mom? <laughs> like, did you get attacked by like puss in boots off sh off Shrek? Such an odd. Well, he's knee height with a sword. <laughs> So I just figured. I don't I've know. never seen that movie. Legend of Zorro. Have you seen that? Mm, maybe it sounds familiar. It's good. I've it's never been a Shrek kid. Oh, Zorro has nothing to do with Shrek. <laughs> oh. Absolutely nothing to do with Pixar. There's not a there's not a scene of animation in Zorro. Did you know Moe's from The Office was the executive producer of the show? Was he really that little weird punk that would runner? He was the executive Amin? producer. Amen. I assumed. It's racist. That's on me. <laughs> Get rid of that. Yeah, he's the executive producer of the show. That, I was watching dude, like interviews of like the cast afterwards, and he I, was like, I, I'm so and so, and he's like, I played Moe's, and I'm the executive producer, and he was like, so normal. <laughs> and I was like, this is that's how great that show was. And um, Kelly love Ryan, he was like one of the head writers. Oh, yeah, of the show. I, I knew yeah, that. Yeah. I knew Ryan was. I, I love doing shit like that though. Uh, 
a, like when you finish a show that you absolutely love mm -hmm. and you go and follow like the fan Twitter page. You watch I the don't do that. In, okay. Well, I guess I <laughs> did weird. that with Harry Potter. Go, oh, I did. It, I did it with Harry Potter. And I was obsessed, and then it got to a point. It'd be like a random day two years later. What are you doing? What are you doing? It was a. Oh my God. It was a random day two years later, and I was getting a tweet on my timeline that said, Expelle! I was like, I need to end this. I was like, I'm out of that. Stage. Do you? Oh, I'm thinking about kids stuff, but I want to, before I get into that, I was, I was going to talk to you about DisneyChannelGames.com. Remember Disney Channel Games? Mm -hmm. you, you play Zach and Cody going through the thing. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. And Foster's Home and Marathon, Grand Theft Cartoon. Network, I, I already right? told you, bro. The Warner Brothers one. It doesn't matter. I was oh going to talk about God. something more important okay, as well. a kid. Okay. I've had this, like, we never agree on, like, games and, like, our childhood. We have very different childhoods. Mm -hmm. We both had field days in elementary school. Um, oh, my God. Kid, it, the endorphins, every time field day comes outside, Dude. you go and chase around your crush. I used to pack two Lunchables for it, too. <laughs> I needed a carb up. hungry, bitch? I needed a carb up for field day. It was sick, bro. You, oh. you had your caloric intake for field day? 100%. I had two Lunchables. Yeah. Exactly my point. I was like, Gusters and candy. It was a lot of tail. It was <laughs> Gusters and candy. Shit. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I was like, Mom, give me the give me the steak. What was your favorite field day game as a kid? Mine was Ooh. the potato sack races and Twister. Best games. <laughs> Twister? Like yes. Twister. Yeah, left hand on green, right hand on red. <laughs> what the hell kind of field day did you have? <laughs> Y'all were playing Twister at field day. What y'all play at Twister? I feel the, <laughs> the field day events. Twister wasn't a part of your field day. Twister's like a board. Well, it's a board, I don't know. Yeah, Twister's like a family house game. Why is that at your field day? Because Did you play Yahtzee at field day. No, Do you we, have a Monopoly corner. Why are you playing Twister at field day? Field day. What was field, field day, day? Was like the twenty yard dash. You had a little punt, pass, and kick. You yeah. had the hula hoop stuff. All that potato sack, egg in the spoon. John. Yeah, Twister. Tw Twister is not a field day event. Yes, it was. Were y'all playing hide and seek at field day too? If you tag? wanted to, you didn't play tag at field. Okay, you're now you're just saying shit. You didn't play tag at field day. You played ta tag. You at played field day. tag at field day. Yes. Where did you go to school? It was sanctioned. Sanctioned bullshit. Where did you go to school? The counselor. You. What are you saying? You're not answering my question. Where did you go to school? It was sanctioned. Where did you go to school? The counselor. This uh, 21 clues? Am I trying to you guess make me, the You answer? always make me feel lesser than. I'm not trying to make you feel like, hoop. You played tag at field day. Tag and twister <laughs> to two teams? Tag and twister. Teed up. You're just teed up teed on the field day. Yes. And then you would play human hurdles. So, okay, here's here's my thing, though, right? You, you play human you hurdles? Go, what is human hurdles, first off? <laughs> you go like this. You're running, and then you go down. And then the kid jumps over you. And then you run human hurdles. Oh, y'all didn't have the funding. <laughs> you just, this, and then the okay, balloon, here's, here's my thing. Y'all, y'all play the uh, the uh, water balloon. Water balloon. You yes. Said, okay. That's see? a field day event. What's the difference between that and Twister? How many kids were in your class? I don't know. Maybe twenty, right? In my like my class? Yeah. Miss Winkler's. Sh sure. Miss Winkler's. Twenty around. Sure, Give or take. Okay. How many can play Twister? Two. No, you can play four. What are the other 18 kids doing? That's my point. You play events where you have teams, relays, everyone's involved. You, you, you. Imagine going to field day and having a chess tournament sitting there. You're just like, you, we did have chess. No, you did not. Yes, you did. No. We had miscellaneous games at, at field day. You didn't have miscellaneous games at the field day? Our field day was rigor and it was- Careful. <laughs> Be careful. Make sure you pronounce that first R. <laughs> it was rigorous. Okay. And it was it was determination. It was literally teams, all events. Yeah. You, like it was like a full. You, you felt like a small Olympian. I was ass at Twister, but we had it. What? First off, you would be horrible to play Twister with. You would be. You'd literally be like this. You'd be like, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, there we go. You're. So, oh my God. You, oh my God. You're tall, lanky, and you had your tail in hair. Holy God shit. God forbid something's right here. Oh, and you stunk. And you stunk. Oh my God. Yeah, somebody was like right hand on red. Anytime that my arm was like, they'd go and be like, I'm done. Yeah, every time you move your feet, it's like, and the ha ha game. You didn't have the haha -ha game at field day? Why does nobody agree with you? What is the haha -ha game? Ha! -ha yes. You win! Yes! <laughs> you lay down. It was in Miss Winkler's class. Miss Winkler was a creative son of a gun. She was <laughs> you, ahead of her time. You lay down. Somebody and then uh, So you're already you're on grass. You're you, lying on you earth. You can play on pavement. Who gives a shit? You said you did it on field day. Your field day was in a parking lot. Yes! What the f <laughs> 
Some of it. Yo, what the hell is wrong with you? Yo, what kind of funding did you have at your school? Our field day was at the high, at the football stadium. Oh wow, y'all had we had a football stadium and field day. We had the whole football field used it. We used the track. Your elementary the- school had a football field. No, our the city. You definitely wore a bow tie to school. You you rich bastard. Yes, you did. A bow tie and an ascot. Yeah. <laughs> no, our. Uh, uh, our city had the football stadium, the big football stadium for our high y'all school. Y'all took buses to field day? Yeah. Yo, y'all got money, dog. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. What kind of field day did y'all live? Was it just Go like, outside. Was it just like a long <laughs> recess? Right, pretty much. Wait, what? I didn't know this was crazy. Yeah, that's why I was like, who plays Twister on a field day? You go. Out we s- had straight up races, snow cones. No, they, uh, they're literally. You just- could buy nachos. Like there was, uh, you brought. You had to bring your own lunch, and then all the people would get in the. All of us on field day would get in the football stadium. All the little kids, and then the real high school athletes would come around and practice real quick, and it would like motivate us. <laughs> Ours would literally be like, go outside and we're going to put cones in the streets so you don't get hit by the Honda Civic. <laughs> That's what we did. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Yo, y'all had an elite field day. Bro, it was sick. And then we played the ha game. But then the water, the fire hydrant, the fire truck would pull up at the end and turn on his hose and spray y'all all the had kids. vendors? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my dad got attacked by a dog on field day. Because we had the police come. <laughs> oh, you were that kid. You were the kid whose dad got attacked yeah. by a dog. They put him in the suit. <laughs> oh, you, oh, for like a show. Yeah. I thought you meant your dad was there. He gets attacked and he's like, call the cops. <laughs> and then everyone's like, oh, there's the snitch kid dad or something. <laughs> no, but y'all, you didn't play a haha game. Dude, that's not a game. Well, I, I want to play it, it for Patreon. That'd be so fun. The haha game. I love you to death, but I, you lay on your you lay. So we're on gravel, right? It was probably horrible for our yeah, bodies. What? Texas, 105 degrees. 105 degrees. You're on gravel. So we're laying down, right? And it's the first time I've had my silent laugh. This is where it, like it was born. And like, a girl would or a guy, whoever, a classmate, a classmate would lay their head on your stomach, the back of their head on your stomach. 100 percent illegal where we grew up. <laughs> and then you think that? And then it would be another head on their stomach, another head. So we'd all be like that. And then. Uh, the first person would go, ha. Second person would go, ha, ha. <laughs> it still gets me. <laughs> you see how many ha ha's you can go without laughing? <laughs> I can never play the ha ha again. <laughs> I love the ha ha again. <laughs> That's the stupidest game. I know you play it. So you literally go, ha. No, uh-huh. you already messed up. Ha, one ha for, to start. I did do one. Okay, ha. So you go ha ha ha. No, you just did two. You went ha. See how it's a fun game. It's not fun at all. You okay. play it. Okay. <coughs> you go one. Ha 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 ha. It's a tough, tough. It's a, no, imagine if I was on your gut and you could feel the ha going. <laughs> I don't want you on my gut. It's I just can't look at you. Here we go. <coughs> look at me. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 yeah, but recess. Yeah, but you literally start with science is cool and it end with Brenda's a bitch. <laughs> it's just like, what are you doing? Like, why are we playing you this? Had to get your school. Uh-huh. <laughs> you definitely have to get kids in your school if it ends like that. Oh yeah, dude, field day was lit, bro. You, I guess. No kidding. <laughs> like, y'all. I mean, mine was lit. Ours was lit. I hope yours was lit. So Twister or the potato sack races? Dude, Twister was never once at a field day for us ever. Ever. Yeah, y'all had the goddamn circus come. <laughs> no, we had we just did little relays, cone stuff, uh, fill the bucket with water, put the sponge over your head, and get the water. Oh, we thing. couldn't do that. I, I had all like vacation Bible school games. <laughs> because <laughs> like, if I had my braids and you know putting water on my, my mom would have thrown a fit. She can't like, uh, I gotta get those. Like, turn that water hydrant off. You better not get my baby wet. Oh. <laughs> no, my mom would hate field day because I'd come home smelling like sardine ass. Oh. Oh, I can only imagine. And, and y'all was just at the school. Oh, didn't have the bus ride to let the sweat. Dude, that's cool. crazy. Y'all took buses. I mean, to granted, it was, it was. We only had like it's, it's still it's resources all one and city. money. 
It's one city. So resources and money. Everything. It was like five minutes from did, every. Did y'all do something special for Halloween? And and no. that was cool. Oh, we did. At at, uh, at my elementary <sighs> school, at my elementary school, we would turn one hallway in on a Saturday into a haunted house, and like the theater That's, kids oh, would they, come do it. They we didn't do a haunted house, but they like decorated. Yeah, shit. I remember. That's I would cool. I would leave a, my flag football game. I played for the Patriots. <laughs> Okay, I have, I have a serious question. Okay. What position were you in flag football? Receiver and quarterback. Okay, I was also a receiver. I have a follow-up serious question. Okay. Did you ever miss a, a fairly open ball? Yeah, several times. Okay, my last question. <laughs> my last question. <laughs> Did you ever fake an injury when you missed the catch? Every time. <laughs> what? That was the go-to. I have one, bro. Because I, I was like, I played like a tight end. Mm -hmm. So I was always hitting like little slants, mm -hmm. little outs and ends, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> or blocking. It was low-key like a competitive fo flag football league, and I just, I don't know why I was in it, to be honest. Yeah. So was then, it where you were the NFL teams? And yeah. Sponsored by Cheetos? Yeah, yeah. I was Cowboys. Uh, <clears throat> so randomly, this our coach decides to send me long. Mm -hmm. He's like, you're a tall kid. Just go grab it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so I start running. And I'm like, holy shit, I'm kind of beating this kid. Quarterback. Dime. I'm looking up. I'm like probably f four feet in front of this kid. Yeah. He could dive and he's not even going to mess up the yeah. catch. Right in my hands. No pads, no helmet distractions. And I literally fell to the ground. And it, it was almost as the if embarrassment I, hit. It's almost as if I fell to the ground and it was dark, right? It was dark. So I covered up and I had a conversation with myself. I said, all right, this is it. I either hurt, I hurt something, or I have to quit the team. And I was un under there, it was just dark. I was by myself, very vulnerable time. It's like there was two of me, and I was like, okay, what are we doing? I said, all right, uh, let's call it an ankle and get out of here. Ready, break. And I stood up and I went, ah, ah! And I was just holding my leg. My coach said, there's nothing wrong with See, you. you make fun of me, but you low-key did the same shit I did. That's that's like a pride thing when you're young. If you drop a ball, you better, you, you basically broke your leg, yeah. even if you didn't. I remember the day I quit football. It's because I dropped the pass. It was uh, seventh grade football, and we were playing. We played at the high school. What? I quit in eighth grade. Uh, I quit seventh. I thought I got paralyzed. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember you told me. No, but I, so we would do this thing where I was a receiver, <sighs> right? And I've never felt this way playing sports, but I just genuinely felt like I did not belong on that field. Like this wasn't for me. Like I, I just, I just didn't. Just had an I, egg. I didn't get it. Like I got it. Like I'm good at football. Like I, You're was, like, I, I was, don't like getting but, hit. Exactly. But I was just like, this isn't for me. You bro, know that was feeling? me too. Like in Pop Warner, I was the, I was a goaded kid. Like I never, I never played young, bro. I was like one of the, like it was like one of those when I was a kid because I was just way bigger than anybody. I was way more athletic than everybody. I was tall as shit yeah. and I just like football. Slow key skilled. And they would be like, oh, that kid's gonna be a like a caught like they're yeah. really good. But once I got to high school, I was like, I don't. I like shooting yeah. the basket. Like I don't like Facts. this. And so I remember. It was a home game. It was against Dessau, and Dessau scared me. They were big athletic kids. Uh, so a lot of those kids are in jail now. Um, I remember it was we are going for a, a two-point conversion. They put me in for a slant route. Okay. You know, I just got to go five yards. Quick slant route. And our, our quarterback, Colin Wyman. That's Oh, my God. That's the most quarterback name I've ever heard. He's D1, Colin Wyman? He's a D1 baseball player now. He's this fantastic arm. Of the kid was always a great arm. Of course, hit me on a slayer route. I never knew how to line up either because they never. I was like, I saw people pointing. I was like, what the fuck am I pointing you for? Ref? I was like, I didn't get it. And the ref would always be like, <laughs> You're like, oh. and so I, like they would give me like I could have gotten a false start every time because I was still moving back every time. Oh my god! So I was like, boom, slayer route. Was, One, two, boom! I hit the slayer as soon, like he was a perfect throw because he's supposed to hit you on the break. The ball's supposed to be in the air. Mm -hmm. I turn around. I wasn't expecting the ball to be in the air already. I look, and I could hear that motherfucker come in. <laughs> Boom! Hits me in my head. And I go, <laughs> all I hear is, oh! All the Dessau kids, they're saying very vulgar things to me on the ground. Get up, bitch! And it's one of those where your teammates don't even help you up. Imagine oh, my skinny man. ass, and you know middle school pads are so big on you. I'm like... <laughs> like, this, like you gotta like roll to a side, kind of like hitch up. Like you can't just. It was the, that was the last day I played football. I was like, this isn't for me. And I was like, I'm pretty sure he told me he's like, bro, you got a great career in basketball. <laughs> bro, I had a very <laughs> muscular kid tackle me with the crown of his helmet right in my little small of my back. I literally thought I was <clears throat> paralyzed. Yeah, I was like, oh, like this is it. I'm done forever. I remember me and Armani played football on the same team. Armani Brooks plays for the Brooklyn Nets. 
And I remember uh, we scrimmaged his. He was on the older team. We scrimmaged his team. And we played Oklahoma drill. And everybody on my team, I was everybody was terrified of me Oklahoma drill because I was like I, had, I was getting bullied at the time, so I'd get my shit out on them. And I was just bigger, yeah. than them, so I'd just be like, "Turn Oklahoma drills. You start on your back facing, and then you just get up and you some places hurt each like other. banned it. Yeah. yeah, they probably should, especially for kids. Yeah. I remember Armani. He was the first one I was going to the older kids. Go here, just gets me straight in my leg. I yeah. flip, and he goes, "Look at you, dog." And I said, basketball? <laughs> Literally. But, uh, wait, 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 It wasn't that necessary for you to get that aggressive. It, you're right, but just before we move on. Okay. We were speaking on games, and I have a game for you. Is it a math game? It's not a math game. <laughs> yeah, thank I God. I promise that you're, your damn partner in crime isn't here either. I'm tired of going on this 2046. He doesn't. He bought a cat. It wasn't a horse. <laughs> I'm tired of going on public and be like, solve this math problem. Dude, that the guy yesterday? Uh-huh. A guy literally said, hey, bro, I got a math problem for you. And Peyton was like, stop. He said, please. All Everywhere right. I go. I have a game for you. Okay. I have to set it up real quick. That's how instructions work. <laughs> all right, buddy. So it's all set up. I was thinking back, this thing I used to always do, I would go to this website because you were talking about the game stuff and it triggered my mind. It was like little IQ tests kind of. This really isn't the real IQ test, but I like to call this good old circle quiz. Okay. What is that? <laughs> You have to connect all the dots without leaving the circle and without intersecting any lines. I just want to see if you can Can I pick up the pin? Huh? Yeah. Okay. You can connect. Why do I have so many colors? Because there's four different sets. I don't get the game. You have to connect the blue one to the blue. You have to connect purple to purple, red to red, black to black, without crossing any lines and without leaving the circle. So I just want to see if you can do it. Can I go with one pin or I got to go multiple pins? <laughs> It doesn't matter. You can just use one pin. Use one we pin. Yeah. Why'd you give me five pins? That's a great point. I don't know. Okay. I got to connect all of the dots. Yes. You got to connect the dots to each other. Okay. No! <laughs> you imbecile. Take the eraser. Blue to blue, purple oh. to purple, black to black, and red to red. I see why you got fired as a teacher. <laughs> I, I did not get fired. I quit, and I literally said... Connect the colors to their color. Oh, easier. Okay. Can they can they see it? Okay. Red to red. Mm-hmm. Blue to blue. Oh, oh shit. Hold on. Oh, easy. <laughs> purple to purple. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not good at math, but I can't connect the dot. <laughs> Is that right? I scored? You did. You did. <laughs> That's the game? I think it's so much better when a computer makes it. It makes it harder. I, I gave you too much space. <laughs> That's it. That's it? <laughs> That's it. That's literally the right answer. So bad. I didn't make the circles big enough. There's way too much area. Wait, do it again. Try it again. All right, I'm trying another one. That last one was horrible, apparently. And if you're so modern day Picasso, figure this one out, smart ass. Here we go. Oh, that one. Okay. There's your writing utensil. That's why you got fired. Didn't get fired. I left. All right. So connect all the dots. <coughs> you can't leave the Cough square. again in, so in my sorry. face. <coughs> Connect all the dots without... Teacher was speaking. Can't leave the square. Can't yeah. cross lines. Okay. Color to color. Yep. Color to color. <sighs> this is a trick. <sighs> okay. Red to red. <laughs> this is a trick. Red to red. Blue to blue. Ha <laughs> ha! Are you? I want to know the passing rate of your students when you're a teacher. <laughs> Am I a dumbass? <laughs> like, I looked at that and I thought I could have swore that was modern day Da Vinci. <laughs> Am I an idiot? Are you stupid? Dude, I swear to God, it's got to be better when a computer makes it because I'm not making I'm not making the dots adequate sizes. I'm giving you too much. <laughs> I'm giving you wiggle room. I think there has to be a rule like it's a straight line or something. There's not. There's not. There's no wiggle room. <laughs> Yo. 
I did not get fired, but damn it, if I was giving him this, I might have should have. <gasps> might have should have. <gasps> the hell with this game. Okay, I can't. No, you're awful. We're done. You're awful. You're absolutely, absolutely awful. We're done. I just can't even believe that. <laughs> I, had, I wanted you to uh, fail. Uh, I think it's uh, we didn't help people the last episode, but I want to help some people this episode. You know what that means? It's February. <laughs> Is it February? <laughs> Stop saying that. It's not February. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. P. Uh uh. Hey. I'm not allowed to join. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> My square quizzes was shit. Not. All right. Dr. P, the best love doctor in the world. Let's you can one. submit your uh, request for. <sighs> You can submit your request for help in your relationships or some toxic stuff that you've done. And this is what I want to do on Dr. P. A lot of people have been telling me stuff that's been done wrong to them. I get it. But what have you done wrong? And I can help you evade some of those situations too. <clears throat> you got something? Dear Dr. P. Wow. We need to scratch all of this. All of it. Delete the footage. Protect ourselves. Okay. Next one. Yeah. Right? That. All right, next one. We're I thought you were laughing the whole time because of that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> because I was confused. As All right, doctor, are you ready, Sire? I am. <laughs> Little do they know we did one before. This. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would have gotten canceled. Dear Doctor P. Hello. I need your help. Hello. I was in a relationship for two years, and he went to another. He went to school in another country and broke up because he needed to work on himself. Okay. But there was nothing wrong with our relationship at all. We planned our future together and everything. Mm -hmm. Does he really just need to work on himself? Or is that an excuse? I'm 22 and he's 26, by the way. Part of me thinks he was having a, having a crisis because he doesn't have his dream job in the life he wants yet. This is going to be the easiest Dr. P I've ever done. He told you. <laughs> you learned, Actually, you just proved to yourself that he's working on himself. So you're so... She just can't accept it. It's it acceptance like. is the problem. Yeah. Uh, you're right. You're right <laughs> acceptance is the problem. And I get that it's hard. I get that it's hard, but you can't, not everybody's a bad person. He might have, that sounds like a good person to me. That they are willing to give up a relationship that maybe they wanted to, but they can't give you everything if they're not happy with themselves. And a lot of people need to take that advice instead of dragging somebody along when you're not feeling good about yourself and making somebody suffer with you. Facts. If the best thing for you and ultimately for them is to separate yourself, do what you need to do, and then maybe come back, it, it's all up to that person if they're willing to accept that or not, then let them do that. He, you already said, is he actually working on himself or not? I know that he's not happy where he's at in life. If two plus two goes to yeah, every time it's four. Every time. So yes, I know it sucks, and God bless you, but... Uh, so let's segue to that. What, what, would, what would be your advice to her for... because? I, 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 do, I do get that. It's It sucks that it's a real thing. Like someone, someday somebody might just wake up and be like, wow, I really am terrified this thing of life. I'm really not where I want to be. It has nothing to do with you, but I think we need to break up. Yeah. And that absolutely sucks, but it's a real thing. So what would you what would you say for confidence? It doesn't in suck yet. It's going to suck worse when he figures himself out in that other country and gets him a Danish girlfriend. <clears throat> That's going to be the sucky part. You got to mentally prepare for that because if he finds himself out there, gets a job he wants out there, and it so happens that it lines up with somebody else's timing timeline out there, then he'll get with somebody else, and it sucks. And it's not a you thing; it's just timing. It's say, life. Say, say that again. It's not a you thing. It's not your. Fault. It's not your fault. It just takes acceptance and willingness to be like, at Damn. least this person didn't lie and cheat on me. Well, they could have. I don't know. I, and I've always said that too. Like that, either one's gonna hurt. But I'd much rather if say if say if my if my relationship was breaking, I'd much rather her end it with me mm -hmm. then go and cheat and stuff and yep, find out like if, exactly. you, if you feel the need to cheat to cheat 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 if you feel the need to cheat <laughs> if you feel the need then we need to just end and go our separate ways mm -hmm. before you just do slimy things behind my back yeah i think that's either way is gonna suck but i'd rather you at least be like an honorable person to where you can tell me to my grill i think it's okay to be upset it's okay to be hurt a hundred percent and you deal with that how you deal with it but at the once you get that initial emotion out i think you could look at that as respectable of what that guy did or girl whatever whoever does that and i think more people need to take advice from that person 
And I think you shouldn't sit there waiting on him either. He hey, decided to leave. Go. You go do your thing, sugar muffin. Yeah, sugar muffin. You go, go do your thing. Dr. P, ready? Hello. Hello. How old she said she was, actually? I don't know. 22, right? 22. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, thank you. 22. Dr. Yeah, guy P. was 26. Okay, cool. Dr. P. Dr. P. <laughs> and that was... <laughs> Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, and I think it's time for people's favorite segment. You know what that is? Pop culture, Peyton and Kim. Pop culture with Peyton and Kim. Wow, I got a pop culture. I talk about this with uh, my Twitter family a lot, and the Twitter family is growing at the PSH8. If you want to just sit in there and talk with me with my weird ideas and thoughts, my a lot of uh, the fans on Twitter all have a common interest with me, and it's the WWE. Mm. We talk about the WWE a lot. You do like you some right. old, you have some old wrestling. Big WWE news. We filmed this prior because we're going to be in Colorado, so this could be old news to you. But um, WWE Raw is getting in the ring with Netflix. Starting oh, January 2025, Netflix will exclusively stream WWE Raw in the U.S., Canada, U.K., and Latin America every single week, all year long. And the requirement, is that a word, was for, guess what, five billion oh. dollars. That boy Vince McMahon. Big news for the WWE. That's now, huge. Big news for the WWE, and at the same on the same day, The Rock is joining the WWE and UFC parent company's board of directors. He joins uh, David Faber, Faber, Carl Quintalent, and yep. Jim Cramer in the ring. Oh, that oh, never mind. That's a part of uh, Squawk the Street. Uh, it's uh, uh, that the word sounded. <laughs> it's okay. He he joined uh, TKO, which is the parent company yeah. of WWE and UFC, as a board member on the same day that they got acquired for five billion dollars. They're making big moves. He's making big big money now. I wasn't able to talk to my WWE insiders. I have some insiders now over there. Oh. Talk about uh, what we think that's going to mean. Do you, big guy? I do. I do. Oh. Some big some big wigs over there at the WWE, oh. which is crazy to say now. Yeah. But um, there is a Twitter account. Now, I'm speaking strictly to the WWE fans. If you don't like WWE, sorry. But this is exciting to me. Now, there's a lot of storylines that could happen with WWE. And a lot of it's on the road to WrestleMania. Now the Royal Rumble is coming up. Very excited about that. Bro, the fact that you know this still is sick. Like, yeah, it, and so, and The Rock has come back, and he's talked about challenging Roman Reigns, which okay. is crazy. But with somebody as big as The Rock and Roman Reigns, I think they're going to take a year timeline for that the same way they did Rock and John Cena. And a Twitter account by the name of Assemble underscore Show said this mania idea and i think this is the most accurate one i hope it happens i talk to my wwe insiders and see if this is what they're thinking about but it says mania idea cody rhodes wins night two of wrestlemania roman stands in the ring broken because roman reigns has been the longest title holder in modern history he's had it for years mm -hmm. as he sits there in the ring broken that he loses his 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 uh title mm -hmm. to Cody Rhodes as Cody mm -hmm. Rhodes finishes the story boom the rock music hits mm -hmm. rock takes the lay from Heyman Paul Heyman mm -hmm. which is um Paul Heyman OG. you know Paul Heyman yeah. the goat and so you know Roman Reigns is the head of the table mm -hmm. he takes the lay as the head of the table because you know they're related mm -hmm. and then the stare down with Roman they spend a year building that to uh, to uh Wrestlemania 41 hypes the new Netflix deal all year in the process so they're gonna they're gonna have Cody Rhodes win night one of WrestleMania. Boom, the rock comes. And now the title I thought you said night two. Night two, I mean. The title sequence story is gone from Roman Reigns out. The only thing he has is I'm the tribal chief. I'm the head of the table. But now the rock, who is uh, your family member, who is the most powerful person in sports entertainment history, comes and takes the only thing you have left, takes that lay. I'm going to be the head of the table. They stare at each other. They build a year, and they build that, that Netflix storyline into the next WrestleMania 41. I am excited for that. Do you want to have a watch party for WrestleMania? I'll do that for you. You would I'm, be so uninterested. I would watch it. You'd, you I wouldn't would get it. what's going on. I'd I would, be like, there's no way this happening. You'd yeah. be like, who's hey, that? I'd be like, dude, the fight was cool. But like, I would, yeah, I definitely wouldn't know the backstories, dude. But wrestling was 
it was elite. Yeah, it was so good. I feel bad for Tony Khan, who's a, who that he's is. the head of uh, he's AEW? the owner of AEW. Hate he it. had some he had he had some good things going because WWE was at a downturn because yeah. Vince McMahon was r- ruining it at the time until Triple H took over, and so he was taking all those people. He had CM Punk, he had Cody Rhodes, he had Chris Jericho. The fact that Cody Rhodes is still like wrestling is wild. Yeah, I feel like he's been wrestling since we were young. Yeah, and Chris Jericho. Yeah, he had all these people. Cody and Rhodes was the little high flyer, right? No. Cody Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes kid. He was a part of the. the Cody Rhodes wasn't. With, he he uh, didn't have. Randy he Orton. didn't do the like frog splash. The high. He was like a high flyer. Like off of a top, top of the rope top turnbuckle. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think he was known for that though. Oh okay. He's like kind of small, like buzz cut. He had a buzz cut at one point. He's been wrestling for 20 years. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Everything but, I say, you're like. I mean, at one point. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's. Uh, I don't used, know. He used to wear yellow or something. But I feel bad because now, he had CM Punk, just big. Mm-hmm. Came back to wrestling. CM Punk, AEW. Cody Rhodes, big. Chris Jericho, big. He's got nothing. N- and he didn't do he didn't do much with them. He didn't do enough. He didn't have that storyline of CM Punk, Cody Rhodes. Now WWE takes back Cody Rhodes. WWE takes back CM Punk. First thing they do is build that storyline. God, God. And now they have MJF, but MJF is like a great wrestler over at AEW. He's one of the best on the mic. He's like he could be the future of wrestling. And his contract ends in 2024, and a lot of people are like, "What if MJF comes out at Royal Rumble?" I doubt it, but if he does, if he if 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 MJF leaves, so like AEW, people that watch WWE, they definitely like tune into AEW as well. It's the like the non-casuals, yes. Okay. Yes, because it, Edge is over at. Uh, so it's like UFC with Michael Chandler. How like Michael yes. Chandler was in a different promotion, mm-hmm. came over to UFC. People already knew him, liked mm-hmm. him, and now he's yes. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, but uh. So I just nerded out, but I, all my wrestling fans, I want y'all to, to. You deserve a nerd out, buddy. Yeah, I want y'all to put if y'all like that idea from that uh, Twitter account that I put in. So, but uh, you got it. You got it. You got a uh, pop culture. I was good with wrestling. Cool. And that was pop culture. <laughs> Payton and Cam. Pop culture with Payton and Cam. Bow. Get us out of here, big hips, nasty. <laughs> that side eye was criminal. That was like some Ruby <laughs> shit you said. We're going to Colorado. We're going to talk about that on We Patreon, are going though. to Colorado. There's going to be a fire, 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 well, hell, snowy, icy, snowy, cold uh, Colorado vlog on Patreon. Uh, I am currently seeing Peyton's bare ass bounce. That is, that is inexcusable on so many different forms. But uh, Patreon... Linked in the description below, the official Facebook. I'm going to say it again. The official Facebook. Ah. There's a lot of them out there. Ah. Our Facebook is linked in the description below. Hello. Tickets for Tampa. There's still a few left. They're also linked in the description Come celebrate. below. Come celebrate Uncle P's birthday. I want it to be lit. It's going to be a fantastic Please show. Please come. And even better after party. Please. This week's code to get you good karma and confuse the casuals is, what, what did you say earlier? Uh, about what? What was the subject? GSTS. Some about a th- some. Oh, uh, a, th- a sore throat, throat syndrome? A strong throat syndrome? It was strong, but some before strong. Blank strong throat I don't syndrome. remember. We'll just go strong. STS. Strong throat syndrome is what he has. You know what my favorite thing is reading the comments? Be like, what are these uh, acronyms mean? I'm like, Confused casuals. casuals. Confused casuals. Confused casuals. Man. Prove you're not a STS, casual right now. Prove it. Leave it everywhere. Leave it on the new Facebook. Make sure you go follow that Ooh. page. Share that with somebody. Oh. Tag your family member. Tag tag your auntie in, in the Facebook. Go ahead and put her on. I like older women. Leave it everywhere though. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If you want me we to date your auntie, y'all. Dude, my mic stinks like this. Pop. I gotta go to Patreon. Yeah, it's because you, like you were breathing. You were <laughs> fucking. <laughs> we absolutely love y'all. <laughs> That yeah, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> That's why people gotta watch. Thank you for coming back for another week, mm-hmm. episode ninety-seven. Remember, one out of two claw bears don't don't make it home to Christmas, and we will see you Hello? next time. Look how dusty it is in here. I Hello? came to play. It's a price to pay.